Hey guys, Get Level here, and today we are playing with lights, or should I say, we're letting Twitch chat play with our lights. This video is actually a partnership with LumiaStream.com. They are the ones that actually provided those Philips Hue light bulbs, and today we're actually going to be talking about their service. If you've been watching my videos for a while now, you'll know that I've experienced with, you know, playing around with lights and having chat command a couple of things. And you'll see that this is not the only thing that Lumia Stream can do for you. But listen, I've tried to do it myself with an Arduino. I had to code my own bot to respond to things and it never goes well. Basically, it's super unstable. So now that I started getting more and more smart lights, I thought, hey, I wish there was a service that can just let me use those smart lights in order to interact with chat or alerts or even an overlay, I don't know. At first, I tried something called IFTTT. The problem with IFTTT is that it doesn't work with cheap lights. Anyways, let's talk about Lumia Stream, which actually, which actually works with both expensive lights and very, very cheap lights, and this is why I love it. Let me show you real quick on their website what they claim. So first thing you do is go to LumiaStream.com. Uh, by the way, if you wanna try it out, I'm gonna have a link in the description and also a special code in the description. Make sure you use uh, both. And here they will tell you about all the integration. They will show you what they actually support. Uh, Philips Hue, of course, which is what we're seeing here. We have Nanoleaf, uh, LIFX, I, I never know how to pronounce that thing. TP-Link, which is important, cool light, and this smart home right there. This is like, this is the poor man's um, home automation uh, smart light system. And this is what I use for my top lights, for example. But also compatible with things like Razer, with Razer products. So if you have a keyboard that lights up, if you have a headset that lights up, you can make it compatible and let Twitch chat control it or make it controlled by uh, overlays or alerts. OBS, slobs, Corsair, still series, so many things. You can see all of that right here. Stream Deck, it's amazing. And then some of the features here which are pretty interesting is uh, hotkeys to trigger your lights on cue so you can press a button and then you know switch your scenes fuse which is so cool because it actually reacts to what is on your screen you also have overlays that will change with the color of your lights i'm so gonna make an overlay pack just for that <laughs> and then you know the most basic thing here is change the color by a chat command you know chat is like hey turn to green or you can actually put a specific hex code and have it change which is so cool and for the couple of alerts we have bits subscribers uh, super chats if you're a youtube streamer hype alerts which is pretty much its own hype train going on if there's starting to get more alerts it's gonna start going crazy it's so cool and you know, something that is quite important because it's the first thing that I think of is deny list to ignore certain users. Cause every time we try to do something fun, you know, there's going to be someone who's going to try to abuse it. So that's really cool. Anyways, followers, hosts, raid, all of that. I'll let you check that out. Okay. And if you have any questions, they have a discord right there. Let's click on get it now. Now, since this is a collaboration, they actually offered me to get me a premium account so I can show all the things, but I want to start by showing you what's free first, what you can try like right now. We're going to choose a platform. We're going to choose windows. Let's drop that here. 91 megs, pretty small. All right, it's done downloading. We're going to click on it and we're going to install it. So I don't want it on C. It gives me the option to install it wherever I want. I love this. OK, I hate when software doesn't let you choose where to install it. OK, select in my folder, click install super fast and then now run Lumia stream. And of course, right here, you can sign in with Twitch is awesome. Yes. Boom, streaming platform is going to be Twitch next. I wanted to connect to Streamlabs, uh, Streamlabs OBS. And then it's going to give me the instructions. Open up slobs, uh, press the settings icon, remote control and sidebar, click the QR code, press details to show information, copy your API token and enter it below. Okay, let's do that. Oh, look at that. This is the edge overlay pack that I just put out. Go check it. Gumroad.com slash guy level. So here, settings, remote control. We're coming back here. We're going to click token and we're going to control V. Nice. Let's click submit. Okay, if you have any of those things like extra life that you want to connect, you can do that too. You can skip top right here. And I actually wanted to connect to Q for now. I will want to connect it to uh, Smart Life here later on, but we'll do that later. Press the link button on the bridge. Press and hold the link uh, for at least five seconds. I'm gonna do that. Wow, and it immediately found. <laughs> Boom, I click add for that one limp. And there it is. I'm not gonna set up Stream Deck for now. There you go. Oh, and that's it. What? Okay, that, that was easy. I don't know if it's that easy for smart home, but I'm guessing. It's already connected to, to this. This is amazing. Where I can do this. Okay, so if I check my notifications, it's gonna give me a couple of things. Hey, we have OBS, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. Let's go to settings. 
and let's uh, check all the settings that we have. Look at that, the full general account connection, queue, devices, studio chat, alerts, and a bunch of other things. So the first thing you want is default light. This is how you want your stream to look when nothing is happening basically. And you can just click and do that. You can just go back home to refresh it. And boom, as you can see, the light changed. I'm showing it like that for now, just so you can see what's going on. Of course, you have all the default transition, a bunch of options, but what we want to know here is general stuff that is already uh, set up for us. So we don't have to uh, touch anything. So right here we have devices, studio, chat, alerts. We're gonna click on chat and this is basically where our basic things are. <laughs> basic things are, um, look at that. For example, the colors, you can see the name of the colors and the exact hue it is and everything. And you can also set up who can trigger them right there. You can add a new color if you want to. But we can already test the colors here. So we have green, orange, pink, uh, basic names. So exclamation mark pink should give us pink and it's lightning fast it is super super fast and as you can see it switches to the pink for a little bit and then it comes back let's try red boom it goes red and then goes back to your default uh setting so that's default stuff then there's also scenes you need to add a scene if you want to like change the whole setup uh if you have multiple lights but this is reactions which is pretty pretty cool that i really love and uh let me see if i can actually trigger that let's see police for example That's great. That is so cool. Of course, there's RGB. I know your chat is going to be using this at a lot. <laughs> Classic. So now under alerts, if you click once on alerts, OK, it will have this drop down and you can see follow subscribers and all of that bits raid uh, slobs. If you want specific scenes to have specific colors, you can also do that. That's amazing. And this is all part of the of the free version too. And as you can see here, the type of reaction you want it to have, there's reaction, animation, hype, scene, you can make it switch to whatever you want and you can pick a specific what you want it to do. Do you want it to flash like police? Do you want it to do RGB once you get uh, a follow, for example? And you can set how long it lasts here, the transition duration before it goes back as like the output, trans the out transition basically. Now for hotkeys, for example, we're going to add a new hotkey here. We're going to assign uh, control U. OK, uh, type. We're going to pick stop Lumia, for example. OK, and we have to go back to the home to refresh the changes. It's kind of like automatic. Basically, it, it has to refresh in order to save, basically. So if I press control U, oops, boom, it's going to turn off Lumia. Turning off Lumia doesn't mean it's going to turn off your Philips Hue light bulb. OK, now something important here is that I went to settings in order to find all of that, but we can just click on open and then we have like a quick menu here where we can see all the chat reactions. We can see the chat colors and we can see the alerts and what they do. If I click on follow, for example, it will simulate those. It's kind of like a tiny stream deck, I guess <laughs> it will show you what it would do uh, if that were to happen at the bottom here. It shows you what you are currently connected with. And I just want to I just want to add an extra one. How do I do that? Let's check. Let's go to connection and we just want lights. OK, we want lights and I want to add a smart light next. So at the bottom here is going to say smart life. Cool. What you need to do is enter your email and then sign in. Now I'm going to add both actually. And now I'm going to log in with my phone. Smart life here I'm gonna click search, submit, and it's actually working. Problem here, problem here is that it's my top lights, so you guys can't see them. Let me turn this one off. Alexa, turn off shelves. Alexa, turn off ring light. So those are the only lights that you're supposed to show you what it would look like if I turn them to blue. OK, now they're blue. Go back to that cyan. Now they're red. Now police. <laughs> so it's that easy to actually add those uh, cheaper ones. And the reason why I really wanted to show you guys all those differences is because 
this uh, Philips Hue is very popular. So I wanted to show you with the Philips Hue how easy it is to actually add it because they are the most popular one. So most likely you or your parents, parents actually own Philips Hue smart light bulbs. If you do not own any light bulbs yet, or if you're like me and you're cheap with your light bulbs, actually, give me a second. Alexa, turn on ring light. Then in that case, you are probably going to go with very, very cheap. This is like 20 bucks for a pair and they work just as well as the Philips Hue. They are also nine volts, so they're really, really bright also. And as you can see, those are the ones that I'm using top here and uh, they're compatible too. And you can have, you know, a combination of both if you want to really. <laughs> now, I don't want that video to last too long because I intend on making another video about it because they told me they were uh, about to update the website and the service and everything so soon you can you can expect more videos about the subject but this was the basics of hey this is where you can download it set it up with your smart lights very very fast and immediately have chat be able to control your colors and as you can see i didn't have to set up the alerts they were already there by default so it's really cool if you want to go in depth and you know modify everything and do your own little scenes you can definitely do that but it's cool that it's kind of like nightbot in that sense where you just add it and it already has a bunch of default commands once again if you are going to go and get uh lumia it's lumiastream.com there will be a link in the description please use my link because it's like a referral link i want to show them how many people came from me you can use the free version but you can also use the premium version and and you actually get 30% off if you use code Gale. Even if you're using the free version, you know what? Use code Gale. I, I, I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> but there will also be a giveaway. We are actually giving away a box of uh, LIFX. How do you pronounce that thing? LIFX LED, RGB LED strips. All you have to do to participate is follow me follow lumia on twitter and retweet the specific tweet that has to do with the giveaway if you have any cool ideas of things you can implement using your smart lights and lumia stream please let me know in the comment section below i'm really excited about this one and i'm definitely going to be using it if you want to know more about the specific light bulbs that i'm using especially the philips hue i will actually have a video on my tech channel uh, unboxing and reviewing and showing the installation but i believe that's it for today this was a pretty basic video to show you hey this is how you install it this is how it works and uh top right youtube will show you what they think is the best video for you to watch next at the bottom of it you will see my most recent video so check him out keep on learning about live streaming and making your stream dope uh and i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching my video go out there make me proud get level out